Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you guys. This is Stereo Police back with part two of the audio note kits comparison between models. It wasn't but a day or two ago we uh, discussed part one and we're looking at all the various models of the audio note kit decks. They're not all kits, uh, some of them are built and I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if it's the ones with the asterisks. I'm not sure. I, I noticed uh, I noticed that today as I was going through that some of these guys are, are professionally built. And so I haven't quite figured that out yet. I did, I did not take note of that today. Um, so uh, I wonder if, if it's the ones that say professional edition, meaning professionally built. I wonder. I'm beginning to think. I should have taken note of that. I, I apologize. Um, but uh, um, I'll, I'll check into that and get back to you on that. All right. In part one, we we covered the differences between the model range on the uh, the DAC board or the digi digital board. And today we're going to talk about the differences um, in the model range between the analog side, the coupling transformers, and the analog board, uh, which also includes, in some cases, output transformers. The first couple of models are direct coupled, output transformerless, I believe, so they don't have output transformers, but the latter models do. All right. Okay, so looking at the overall topology, in part one, uh, we discussed the digital board right here. And today, we're going to talk about this segment, the coupling transformers, analog board, and in some cases, the output transformers and, and the differences between the model range. Okay, so let's jump right ahead. I hope I hope this is visible to you. Sorry, it's small. Let's see here. I have my wobbly headset. I apologize. Oh, I had to hit uh, mute. Got a couple sneezes going on here this morning. It's uh, springtime here in central Virginia with all of the pollens and weeds and all the stuff in the air. A lot of stuff in the air. You hold a flashlight, you know, out at nighttime and it just looks like a dust storm. All right. So let's begin with uh, the DAC 01.1X. And, of course, we have our coupling transformers. You know, the signal leaves as a current signal from the DAC and goes into the, the coupling transformers. And I believe that that effectively converts the current uh, to a voltage. So I call them IV transformers, um, current to voltage. And then, uh, of course, the, the, the voltage enters the analog board. And I, I, I really wish I had schematics. Uh, I could tell you a lot more about what's going on, but I, I'm not privy to that. I could just, all I have to do is look. All I have is the, the photographs. So, and then we're going to enter the uh, associated circuit tree with, with respect to the vacuum tubes. And of course, here we have the vacuum tubes, and they're going to provide a small signal voltage amplification. And I love vacuum tubes. Uh, for small signal voltage amplification. Of course, right now I'm I'm running a Macintosh uh, C. What is it? A C8? Either I, I forget already. A Mac. I use a Macintosh preamp, um, and I I love it. I love the sound. Um, it's a wonderful application. I'd, I'd much prefer this, especially in a DAC. I much prefer this over an op amp, which is as as the usual case. I'm not a fan of op amps. Um, so we go through the vacuum tubes, and um, and in the earlier models we don't have these output transformers, but 
Now I'm leaning towards the ladder models that use these output trans. These output transformers are gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're well designed, well engineered, and I'm I'm preferential to having these output transformers. I'd rather not have the transformerless design. So, so then we uh, we leave the vacuum tubes. We go to the output transformers. Then we go to our you know our uh, way back here to our uh, output jacks or RCAs or in some cases the XLRs. Okay, so let's look at the differences between models. We start with our baseline, bottom of the pyramid, and we have our two uh, 6922s which are dual triodes. And of course even at the baseline all of the components are quality, quality components. There's no issues. You know, I think anyone could live happily ever after with the base. And remember, the heart of the system is the DAC chip itself, and they all have the same DAC chip. So all of these are quality components, even at the baseline. Hats off to this company from the beginning. Uh, you're not getting shorted, really, at, with respect to any model. So resistors, capacitors, and the outputs and these are you know, these are the major components right here that really have an effect on sound um, perhaps so our first step up is the two uh, 2.1 x signature and as best i can tell and i could be wrong uh, is that the upgrade here now there are other upgrades Okay, with respect to the, uh, some of the power supply circuitry and other things. We're just talking about the analog board here. Remember, there were some upgrades on the digital board we talked about, and there are going to be some other upgrades. We're just talking about the analog board. So the upgrade here on the analog board are upgraded uh, capacitors. Oh, and stick around. I've got pictures. I've got photographs. Uh, some, uh, I've pulled their high-res photographs. So I'm going to show you uh, what these upgrades look like. If, if that means anything to you. Um, I am a fan of audio eye candy. So, uh, you know, so if you are too, stick around. So the upgrade here is the capacitors. Then we move on to the 2.1 signature professional edition, edition. And like I said, I think professional means professionally built. I'm not sure. And there are no upgrades on the audio board. Audio, did I keep saying audio board? If I do, I apologize. I mean analog board. They're all audio boards. Analog board. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning here. I just woke up and I've got a busy day. I'm trying to squeeze this in before work and, and uh, other things. That's what I do for you guys. I sacrifice. Okay. Then we move on up to the 4.1 limited edition. And just like... Uh, the digital the uh, digi digital board there's a big change okay there's a, a, uh, whenever we when we move from the 2.1 to the 4.1 uh, there appear to be massive changes massive upgrades the same here uh, we get an upgrade of the vacuum tube we get an upgrade of the capacitors um, we appear to get an XLR output I don't know if that's an option or standard and then we move up to the transformer. So uh, the circuitry here, that means the, the, the circuitry changes too. It's not just the vacuum tube itself, but the nature of the circuitry is going to be changed. I wish I had the schematics. So the whole nature of the circuitry is going to change. So the, uh, the sonic signature is going to change, quite frankly. It, it can't not. It can't not change. So... Um, cause, because that buffer, that analog buffer, which is what it is, and it, you know, it it's, it's, has a massive, massive impact on sound quality. Incredible impact. So right now, I'm leaning on, I'm leaning towards the 4.1 and above. Uh, and boy, those output transformers are gorgeous. I mean, they're fantastic. Just looking at them and their quality. And I'm, I'm just leaning toward that in this realm of the range right here. All right. Uh, 4.1 Professional Edition. 
seems to get another upgrade. I mean, this is, seems to be another big change because the, the whole tube complement changes to a 12 AU7 uh, plus, uh, you know, it, it, to an ECC 90, uh, 99. Hold on a second. Let me check on something. I, let me double check on something. I'm going to hit pause for a second. Uh, something just occurred to me. I want to fact check myself. Yes, uh, that is correct. I just wanted to double check on that ECC number. Uh, that is correct. Um, it, so it's it's a when we go from the limited to the professional, big change. And then we have an upgrade of the resistors. All right. Now moving on to the signature and signature professional, I can't see where there's any changes to the analog board, but there's a big change to the coupling transformers. Uh, they call them large can level five transformers, whatever that means. Um, but I'm assuming it's it's a quality improvement. I have to assume that, of course. I think it's a very good assumption. Okay, let's. Um, it's going to be a sh pretty short video for me. So let's let's the last part of the video is we're just going to look at photographs of what those upgrades look like. Um, so starting with the DAC 1.1X, uh, let's just start our baseline. Uh, here are the capacitors. That's a capacitor. That's a capacitor. I don't see any more in there. If I had schematic, I could tell you what they do. Of course, here are the coupling transformers, the current to voltage transformers. And then these little guys, that's a resistor, resistor, resistor. There's a resistor. There's a one hiding back there, a resistor there. And some wires, you know, and they, they use high quality wires as well. They talk about that here and there. So this is our baseline. Let's see what gets improved. Let's go to the DAC 2.1 X signature and our upgrade are these larger caps right here. You can see the difference in color even. Okay. Let's move on up to the 2.1 um, signature professional. And that's where I believe, uh, right, I didn't see any changes. And 2.1 signature, and I'm going back and forth, and I don't see any changes on the photographs. These, these capacitors appear to be a little different, but it could just be a simple substitution based on supply chain. The resistors... The resistor look different. See these resistors here? Oh, they don't look the same. Looks like a resistor upgrade, although they didn't mention it. Um, I didn't see that mentioned. All right. Let's move on up to the 4.1. This is a this is the big C change, colossal change. And as you can see, look at those transformers. Um, and and they've amounted them opposing. Uh, for uh, for noise prevention reduction, um, outstanding. Um, they've mounted them, you know, 90 degrees. Uh, is it 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Yeah, I'm gonna say 180. 180, they'd be the same. Um, 90 degrees opposing. Um, and uh, look at this. We've got a tube upgrade. You can't really tell because these tubes look similar. These little peanut tubes. Well, they're not peanut. I know I've seen peanut tubes, but these little tiny tubes, uh, we have a capacitor upgrade, uh, though it's hard to tell. But the big change, there's a design change on the board, and we have our output transformers. And you can see, based on the topology of the board, you know, where the resistors are placed and that sort of thing, and where the capacitors are placed, you can see there's a design change. It's a different circuit board. You see that? It's a different circuit board. So... It's a different design. It has to be. If we're, if we're going from output transformerless to something that requires a transformer. All right. Um, let's go from the 4.1 Limited to the 4.1 Professional. And you can see there's a tube complement upgrade. All right. There's two different tubes. Remember the, uh, 
I mentioned there's two different two. The 12AU7 and the ECC99. Let's go back. Let's go back and look. See that? Two different tubes. Um, that would be the 12AU7. At least it looks like it to me. Based on my recollect. And look at that board. Look at this board compared to this one. Entirely different. It's a different design. We're using the same uh, C core transformers, but it's a different design. So this is this is a different animal. Um, so it's a tube complement upgrade. But I, you know, if I was marketing this thing, I'd market it a hell of a lot better than just a tube upgrade. It's a different design. And then we have uh, they allege a resistor upgrade as well. And people, I mean, I'm telling you, man. I'd market this a lot better. Okay. Um, then we go to the 5.1 signature, which I didn't see any uh, upgrades. And do you see anything? I don't. What do you notice, though? Do you notice a difference? Well, I see these wires here. What do you think they're for? I'm thinking XLR. These are for the XLR. These have something to do with XLR outputs. Right on? Yep. That's my um, quasi-educated guess. But that's it. That's not really... That's an upgrade to the, uh, the output capabilities, but it's not really a change in circuitry, really. And then we go to the uh, 5.1 X Professional, and uh, no upgrades there. All right? Stereo Police uh, Part 2, more to come. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Ciao. See you real soon. Over and out.